Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we're gonna to be checking out the BioLite Stove 2, cooking up some steaks using the grilling accessory. I have so much fun with this thing that I actually try to find excuses to use it and uh, I just think it's neat that you can cook steaks and boil water or warm your hands up and charge your cell phone using sticks that are just around your campsite. So I've been having a lot of fun with it. And today we're gonna to cook some steaks and see how they do. So uh, I'm gonna do two clock timers so you can actually see the entire process from when I lit the fire to where I take the steaks off. And a secondary timer to see when I put the steaks on and when I took them off. Granted, these times are gonna be longer than what you would probably experience because I was messing around with the camera stuff and uh, shooting all my shots and the steak ended up kind of well done. So, I mean, if you like a medium rare, I'd probably subtract five minutes from both of these times because that was just me goofing around and not paying enough attention to the steaks, but they, they turned out delicious. So anyway, let's check it out and jump out there right now. Okay, so getting going here, we're gonna throw in some small little pieces of kindling to get everything going. And once we dial up the fan, it's gonna bam, go smokeless for us once we get the fan dialed in. And we can start adding some of our bigger sticks and things like that. And I'll get the steaks ready on the side here. And uh, now we're pretty much ready to start getting out the main grill portion uh, to add that to the camp stove. So you're gonna pull that out of the protective cover fold out the legs, set it into place, and it's very sturdy, which I like. Um, the LED light there is perfect for cooking at night. It puts out a lot of light, and it'll be run it runs off the bio light too, which is very, very cool. And uh, we're pretty much ready to add our steaks. So we're gonna throw those on, sprinkle on some Montreal steak seasoning, and we're off to the races there. Some people might say that the heat coming off of the grill is uneven. I didn't really find that to be true. I thought it was heating pretty darn well, but if you, of course, it's gonna be a little hotter right to where, right on that little uh, area where you put your sticks in. But uh, you could also just rotate your steaks around a little bit uh, when you flip them so that you get a nice even cook on both sides. I thought it did pretty well, personally. And all that smoke is just from the steaks dripping right into the BioLite that are getting burned up uh, instantly. So there's no greasy mess inside the camp stove itself, uh, just a little bit on the grill. So I like that as well. And I gave it a really good smoky flavor, which uh, I really enjoyed a lot better than uh, on the gas grill. So I liked that portion of it. And uh, while I take some of my shots here and do my different things, uh, we're letting those go. And we're coming up on 13 minutes here and it's about time to go ahead and pull these guys off after we had a little more wood and stoke it for that last little leg of the journey here. And we're gonna go ahead and pull those guys off at about 15 minutes, which you won't have to do that long, I overshot it. But the diffusion plate that you can see right here really does a good job of transferring that heat to the outer edge. In my opinion, I thought it did great. I mean, you can see the flames coming all the way through to the other side right there. I had the camp stove going really well, but, um, I thought it cooked great. I didn't have any problems with uneven heat or anything like that. I did rotate the steaks uh, in a circular motion as well as flipping them uh, during that process, but I thought they turned out super duper good. Um, here's a nice little slow pan by here where you can see the steak smoking. But I enjoyed it and I thought everything worked really well. Having that extra three inches to put bigger sticks in there made the entire process a lot easier. And uh, they turned out perfect in my opinion. Of course I overcooked them, but uh, I was going for medium and I definitely hit well, but I'll show you that in just a second here. Everything turned out pretty good and uh, I'll show you the cleanup process and all of that good stuff after we check out the steaks. So when we pull those out here, you can see the first one's pretty much well, well done. There's hardly any pink in there at all. Second one uh, did turn out, you know, kind of medium well. There's some pink in there. Um, and, but really it all tasted really, really good with the smoky flavor and everything, so I really enjoyed them. Now, as far as the wood that I used for this entire process, I have all these sticks cut into the same kind of pieces that I've been using for all my BioLite testing, and it took about 14 pieces of wood, and I reviewed the footage, checked the size and all the stuff, so I put this picture together for you so you can see how much wood went in to this entire process of cooking these steaks. It's not that bad. I put a little Bic lighter there for scale, and you can see it's just 14 varied pieces that match up with what I threw in there in the video. So very easy to find around your campsite, but it does give you an idea of how much biomass is required to accomplish this task. And of course, this entire time your phone would be charging, or you could be using that LED light that I had hooked up, which is very bright. At night, it will give you plenty of light to cook these steaks, which I think is very, very cool too. And that runs off the power of the fire. So that's neat. I love that. And the fan, you can be adjusted to pretty much increase your heat or lower your heat or anything like that. And like I mentioned in the video, it gives you that extra three inches when you have the 
uh, the, the grill on it so you can put in bigger twigs and, and tend it less frequently, which is very cool. Um, as far as the grill itself, you can pull everything apart to clean it. This is what mine looked like after this process. All the drippings pretty much go right into the wood and in the fire and just burn up. And so there's not really any mess inside the BioLite itself because it's burning hot and it just gets on the wood and then poof, it's gone. And for the grill, you just wipe that out and you're good to go. And if you don't want to, it has that plastic cover that snaps onto it. So you can just put it away and then clean it at home if that's what you want to do. So I like that it does come with the cover. If you're interested in one of these guys, there's a link down below that'll take you over to BioLite's website and you can check out the package that I picked up. And I talked them into giving uh, us 10%. If, they, if you click the link, they'll give you 10% off your first buy. So that was really nice of them. Thank you, BioLite. I did buy this with my own money just because I love gadgets like this and I've been having a ton of fun playing with it. Um, and that's about it. If this video helped, and helped you out and you like it, please like, share, subscribe. Um, it did really well and the steaks turned out delicious and it was more fun than grilling on a gas grill in my opinion. So I liked it a lot. I hope you do too. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and until the next video, thanks so much for watching and happy camping.